Voila, here it is, the big box from Schwater. I have been waiting for it for nine days, my goodness. I ordered it almost uh, two weeks ago, but I specifically asked Schwater to send it on, on a Monday so that by the end of the week I could receive it. Um, but in fact, I did not because Thursday was a public holiday. And uh, I think that kind of delayed the whole um, delivery process. But then the next Monday, I still did not receive it. So I got a bit worried. I called the customer service of Golissimo. And uh, then I got to know where the distribution center was. So I decided to go there and collect it myself. The whole journey took me three hours, but finally it is at my place. I'm really, really happy. I hope nothing went wrong inside the box. So here they are. Um, as you can probably tell, this epic haul is um, all about species fowls, including primary hybrids and some cat layers but of course i did not forget to throw in a few other rarer species okay so here is all the orchids that i ordered for this haul there are 20 of them um, including 12 phalaenopsis um four catalayas and uh, another four um, more exotic species i will show you one by one so first of all a warm welcome to the big family um babies you will join your brothers and sisters over there and some more um on my balcony and downstairs so now, let me show you one by one the um, ones on my right hand side is mainly um, Phalaenopsis and um, the ones on my left hand side are Cataleas and other rare, rarer species Let me show you one by one now So this is Phalaenopsis tetraspis C1 crossed with um, Amboinensis. Um, it's medium sized, it's not too small and uh, very glossy and light green leaves. It looks very healthy. Next is Phalaenopsis oh, let me show you. Phalaenopsis um, Hanover Passion crossed with the Balena. This probably is um, one of the bigger sized Phalaenopsis that I ordered this time. Very nice root system. I'm happy about this one. Here is my Phalaenopsis javanica. Oh, I love the flowers of this one. It's much smaller than I thought though. The roots are a little bit wrinkly because um, they stage in the post office for four or five days plus the um, three or four days on the road so altogether they did not drink anything um, in a period of um, nine days I think so it's quite normal I hope I will be able to hydrate or rehydrate the roots next is oh this is um phalaenopsis amboinensis nicole uh, apparently this one has won an award um 
by the American Orchid Society. Mm, very nice. Again, there are not many roots, but um, it looks quite healthy. So next, sorry, I already showed you this one. Coming up, Phalaenopsis violacea, sorry, violacea variation cerulea. Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> the root is pretty okay. So, yeah, it looks nice. Sorry about the mess. I will continue. So the next one is Phalaenopsis violacea. Variation Alba. So this is going to be our, our white one. Uh, the one that I just showed you, the um, Cerulea uh, variation is going to be purple apparently. Next. Phalaenopsis Balina Variation Alba. So this is going to be a white uh, Balina. I already um, have one but I'm not sure what color it is and a white one seems to be attractive um, since I have bought both the um, Violacea and the Bellina uh, uh, variation um, Alba I will be able to tell you uh, how different they are because many people um, are saying that Violacea and Bellina are quite similar Next, this is Phalaenopsis balena green crossed with the speciosa. Wow, there are two actually. Maybe one is um, a cakey, I don't know, they are more or less of the same size though. Very nice looking. Oh, the root system looks nice too. 